Okay, this is a product review on ant medicine that we use twice a year. It's Bifen LP. And I get it from this website right here. Uh, I put this around twice a year to get rid of my ants. Of course, the first thing you do is you go around the house to see if you have any crack points or if there's any ants crawling up. Like I would look for cracks around the windows, the water thing, around the doors. And then when you find it, you would seal them. A lot of my ants back in the day were coming in from this pole and that pole. They were climbing up literally. But uh, that's just a spider. But ever since I've been doing this twice a year, come here, BB. Ever since I've been doing this twice a year, we've had no more problems. Uh, the other thing we do too, is uh, if we find an ant mound, we'll pour it on there. And this kills like and five, almost, ten, it, it's- About five, 10 minutes. It'll kill it, yeah. it'll kill it. So that's what you do. You wanna walk around to make sure you have no thing, then you fill it up with silicone or whatever. Then you're looking to see if there's any ants crawling up because if there's ants crawling up, that means there's ants in your house. So we did the inspection already. We don't use uh, a machine to spread it or that hand thing because I feel that that spreads more than the regular if you do it with your hands. You could wear gloves, but always wash your hands after you use this uh, product here because it's strong. It, it is it, strong, but it won't harm your pets or, or plants. your plants. Right. It's, yeah. And it dissolves. It takes anywhere from three to six months to dissolve. So you're going to see the granulates. All right, that's the pellets right there, guys. And they dissolve. Uh, so even if it's going to rain in five minutes, it doesn't matter because that's when they work even better because they dissolve more in five minutes. Uh, well, what I'm saying is they dissolve in the rain it doesn't like if you put this on it continues to work from three to six months i do this twice a year so what i normally do is after i checked everything i just friggin throw it along the house like that because i want it all over the driveway all over the area that i'm throwing it at and plus when i'm throwing it on the house what it's doing it's hitting the house and it's coming down and then the other pellets are scattering over there and stuff. Sorry for my hand shaking. I don't know. I think I might have some kind of shaking disease or something. But anyway, that's what I do. Let's go around here. And you see how it just, see how it, like, it just jumps up? And I do that around the whole house. And they're safe for trees. So if you got ants, because the the crazy ants are the ones that get your trees that's the ones that run real crazy and stuff same thing on my front porch you know you just you're just scattering it all over see like that because uh this will definitely prevent them if you got a walkway a driveway same thing like my drive my walkway See, they're so tiny. I'm going to keep them right off of there. Flower pots. Anywhere where you think. What I do is a border. And I can go. These bags. Two bags that I buy. Can last me a couple years. And then each individual mound I find. I'm going to sprinkle them. If you are you got some money. And you want to do the whole lawn. Well, put in the machine. Uh, and do the whole lawn and stuff but that's up to you you really don't have to uh do that because you're not going to get the ants a hundred percent away and the more it rains the more it brings up the ants yeah yeah so it's better to kill the mound when it's away from your house yeah. than just to spray the whole area because you need ants you still need ants outside of the area especially flower pots 
ants love to get in there so make sure you get your flower pots too again these do not harm any trees any plants it's just all about the ants and then see my back porch I'm gonna throw it all over the back porch and it's gonna rain today so that's a good thing so I'm gonna throw it all over this back porch so I have no ants okay here's some ants right there guys all right hopefully you can see that the ants they went down but look what happens when I sprinkle okay now what I normally do now you see they're they're feeling it and they're gonna all start to want to come out and I don't want them in my banana what I normally do is I put more this way so as they're figuring out that this is not good they're gonna start heading out towards that way so all right let's go check out that mound BB said we got yeah okay so now remember I'm doing all of this I did all of that I'm creating a border okay and right, BB says we got some okay and then I want, just want to get some in here because that's what kills a lot of your trees is ants walking up it all right here we go a nice one yeah I'll perfect step right in it and i don't need that with me and flipper floppers You don't have to disturb the mound uh -uh. or nothing because they're going to realize that when they went down the chute, this might be a dead mound. Go over there. Well, that's not a dead mound right there. They were rebuilding. Right, but what I'm saying is, is it's, they're not coming out like it was. Yeah. We got to find a bigger one. No, yeah, this was this dead. was a dead mound. Yeah. Nope. See them? They're coming out okay, now. Okay, here they go. Here they come. Don't but I'm know. saying this mound. Yeah, it was a mound, but they moved. And you'll see, I'll be back here later. But you're going to see them. Because as soon as they touch that, then they touch their friends. And it's just a. And the, the live ants are going to push out all the dead ants. Because they don't want dead ants inside their home. And then they'll eventually move when they finally realize that whatever's happening up here is not friendly to them. Here's another good one. Hopefully you can see it, guys. This is definitely... And I just let it... And again, I go around as far as I can because I want them to go somewhere else because as long as they keep coming out, they're going to touch it. But look at that. That's what I didn't want to do was block the hole because there is a hole there. Yeah, look at them. Alrighty. And this hole we'll visit later because you'll see a bunch of dead ants. Yeah, I see the hole is right over there. So. They either telling the ants to go out the other hole that they have somewhere around here. They're cleaning the passageway. But as you can see, uh, as you can see, they are uh, dancing in it, which is what I want them to do. Now, these black ants here, you don't want in your house because they eat wood. And then you got your red ants, which I got to find one. But since I've been doing this, I've been, you know, pretty good. And what I'll normally do is I'll walk around the yard with that bag and I'll just sprinkle around it. You know, I have my border, so they're going to be out here. Then eventually when they get tired of me, they're going to go to the neighbor's uh, thing. And when you find a lot of ants, they might be under leaves. Like, say, if there's a dead leaf like this they have their entrances there because they want it cool you know if you ever notice that 
when you lift up a bunch of dead grass ants are underneath there or moss don't because the underneath the moss. right because it's cool and the uh -huh. sun's not direct them they want that moist dirt so they can screw your life up <laughs> but no we sprinkle it all around here got my papaya trees coming along guys Ready had three bananas, another banana, so four bananas. Banana trees, you got to feed them every day water. But my papaya tree is coming along in my lemon tree. That's my avocado tree. That's whose? Well, ours, okay. you know. You know what I'm saying. Now you can see how some of them are trying to climb the wall, they're falling, and it's not because the dirt is slippery. It's because the ant medicine is already kicking in on their nerves. They're, you know, they get up so high and they just, because of the nerves, and you can see there's a bunch of bodies forming on the bottom there. But now they're, they'll be shaking for about a good couple hours. Uh, but you can see it's already starting to affect their nerves. Uh, and the ones that do get away, like the red ants, they start attacking you. Like if you were standing here, they'll come after you. They'll come on the thing here, but I haven't seen no red ants, the biting ants. And I do it around my shed too, because I have a lot of wood there. It eliminates termites and everything. Now that papaya tree was from a seed from Puerto Rico. Yep. These baby lemons, mini lemons, were a seed awesome. from Puerto Rico. Out of all the seeds, only two survived. This is BB's kumquat. And that's starting to, but you got, like I said, the ants, that's what eats these leaves. So again, this is, definitely helpful for your thing and then that's her that's Jasmine. It. yeah that sucker's grown yeah and then what I'm doing is I'm just walking around and I'm just seeing if I find any loners I still gotta do this area here Like I said, ever since the Massey guy told me what to do, I've never had ant problems coming in my house ever since then. It's so hard to find some because I freaking keep up with this. But I think we have one right here. It's using that leaf. As a shade. And you don't have to disturb them. They'll be disturbed by this. They'll feel the vibration of the things. It's just if they're there, that's what it's just going to come down to. Nope, it's another one that moved. But this one's still coming along good. You can see all that black stuff. That's dead ants. Literally. Dead ants. Be them pushed out. And they're heading towards. Okay. You see, they're finding other places to escape now. If I can just find near the hole, but it stinks when it's a lot of weed. But. But, yep, that's what you see, guys. That's all those dead ants there. And who knows, later there might be more. But yeah, that Bifen LP, that works. That works. Excellent. Like I said, I tried walking around, I can't find none. Uh, that's the only bad thing. I even checked my mother's yard and I can't find nothing. But 
Just wanted to let you know this product is good. I got it online. I think it's like 30 something dollars. It went up when I used to buy it, it was like 20 something. But I buy two bags and as you can see, that's about half a bag that I have left over or uh, a quarter. So that's why I get two bags because one, one bag will do the house around for a whole year and the other bag will do the spits and spatters when it finds the mounds. Uh, but you guys are looking to get ready ants, save some money on those uh, people that come out and remove the ants. Yeah, the exterminators. There's one thing you don't want those ants in your house. Like I said, when I first moved here, I thought I knew it all. You know, you come here to Florida and you get that, you know, like, oh man, this is how we do it up in New Jersey. You know, this is how we do it in Chicago. This is how we do it in California. Well, guess what? <laughs> right, it's everywhere you go is different. Oh, I think I found a nice big one right there. But everywhere you go, it's different. It's, And I learned my lesson when I got the ants in my house because I thought by buying all that cheap chemicals from Walmart or Home Depot, it's not this here. Some states it's illegal to even sell that uh, there. But here's one right here, and that's a big one. That goes all the way from there to there. Let me see if this is a live one. Yeah, this is a live one because they're coming out already. See, once that starts going in the hole, you start disturbing them. And then they start to realize. And uh, you see how they're climbing the leaves because they're thinking maybe the leaf is a person that they try to attack. But, I mean, these ants are vicious, boy. These ants are vicious. Now, sometimes I overdo it. And like I said, I do extra around because I want them to, as they're running away, if they see this too much over there, they might run this way. Normally when I do that, it shifts to my neighbor's house. He has all the, the ants. But you don't need that much. I mean, just enough. But like I said, sometimes, you know, you just overdo it like I do sometimes. And... I don't know. A little bit of ants came out there, and I hate to disturb them because you don't have to, like I said. See how they are? They'll come to you. And they'll eventually bring that poison down, and then eventually they'll put those ants out because they don't want those ants in there. I'm starting to find little ones, but I don't know if they... Sometimes the rain chases them, too. Oh, here we go. These are the crazy ants. See how they move fast? That's what they call the crazy, the crazy ants there. Those, they don't get in your house, but they'll eat your trees. They'll eat anything, grass and anything. Seems like today is a bad day to show you about this ant medicine. <laughs> It seems like all of these, because it rained, they uh, they moved on because this area here stays with water. Seems like the only one that have luck is with this one here. And like I said, let me get it unblurry, and you can see. Come on, here we go. Get unblurry. Let me try to get in closer. You can see, guys. See the ants as they're coming out and dying? That all that black is ants. Alrighty. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> we don't have the ants, but you've seen in that little mound how it works. I promise you, it does work. Uh, yes, it does. You can only get it online. Uh, but yeah, that's a great product it is to great. use. And like I said, you do it twice a year. Then the rest of the year, when it rains and the mounds start building up, you just go out there and you sprinkle the mounds. And be done with it. Save yourself some money. And time. And, and time, a yeah. whole 
lot of ant bites. Yes, yes. So until our next video, guys. See y'all. Stay safe. Take care. Bye-bye.